right, what is going on guys? Favol's back again, and I'm quite a bit late on this, but I haven't seen anything on these characters. Um, yeah, we have the Shunsui, Soifon, as well as Aizen Premium Pool Banner. I think I've known about these characters for about a month and a half. Actually, like maybe like two weeks, a month and a half on the Shunsui, Soifon. Uh, I, I'm really wondering if the special animation on the Shunsui is the same, because like, that'd be funny because it, it, it looked basic as shit when I saw it uh, let's see here boom boom let's bring out each character really quickly just so I can quickly go over them attack type melee strong attack type status element trap that's pretty good I like the status element trap I don't think it's like crazy OP but I, I do like it special move insta kill chance all attacks paralysis let's do this <coughs> oh this is like hella zoomed in Let me zoom in a little bit there we go I know what you were doing with this, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nigaki Kisasu. Kis 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 I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. Delivering two attacks uh, to the same place, Soifon causes immense damage, inflicts paralysis, has a small chance to insta-kill. Strong attack recharge 14% as the soul trait. That's really good. Excuse me. That's really good. Sprinter plus one. Uh, keep in mind, Soifons have three flash steps naturally, so giving her another sp uh, sprinter means that she has four flash steps, Process immunity, reduce strong attack, cooldown 6% at full step. That's really good. Do you have any way to heal that back up? No multi barrier eyes. Uh, okay. Dude, that, that's the only the only issue I have with these characters where they have full stamina and only reduce strong attack cooldown is if they don't have a way to get it back. Like if she doesn't like since she doesn't have drain, she has paralysis, and she doesn't have team party recover stamina, you kind of need a healer in the off chance that you take damage. I get that some people are, are, you know, are him, and they just destroy everything and they never take any damage, but I, I'm bad at the game. So like, I, I kind of need a little bit of cushion for my pushing. Uh, Friends of plus one, Berserker 60%, that's really good. Not not crazy, but I mean, it's a mid-month banner. Uh, no Havoc, which is kind of unfortunate. Debilitator plus five seconds. What is your killer? Human killer, okay, that's interesting. Technique attribute Soul Reaper damage to status ailment affected enemies plus 40%. That's good for soul bombs. Damage to paral paralyzed enemies plus 40%. In, uh, no increased status ailment chance. I was, I was hope I, I bro, in my brain I was like increased status ailment chance. Uh, technique attribute character strong attack damage. Even though she only has frenzy one berserker 60%, she has a lot going on when it comes to her damage. Wow. Full stamina only increased strong attack damage 40%. Full stamina only reduce strong attack cooldown, so you'll be popping off your strong attacks quite often. Technique attribute soul reaper damage to status element affected enemies 40%. <coughs> kind of unfortunate she didn't get increased status element chance or frenzy plus two. To be honest, I would have rather had frenzy plus two and zero berserker than frenzy plus one and 60% berserker, because even though this is more damage, technically, the frenzy plus two would have scaled so much better with everything else that she has going on. Uh, we have guard break technique attribute character strong attack damage 20 percent she's just gonna hit really hard she's like um what was that other mid-month banner that came out that didn't have havoc but they hit really hard was it yachiru was it grimja it wasn't grimja now grimja you, you you got havoc ah biakia yeah yeah i, I think that it's gonna be kind of like biakia but biakia had frenzy plus two like, he had a lot going on, but the problem is, like, without Havoc, it, it, it's kind of like, I don't want to say a dead character, but it's definitely going to hurt the character, that's for sure. All right, I mean, it's, it's just a standard good character, uh, nothing crazy. All right, I just had to blow up my nose because I started talking like this. There. All right, attack type, range, normal attack, damage, range, normal attack. Okay, that's cool. So, range, nad, strong attack, boost, hollow. I, I'm, I'm going straight in. Flurry plus one, bruiser 60%, okay. Range damage plus 10% killer effect, so literally designed for guild quest. Poise, booster, enhancer, guard break. No multi-barrier and no debuff, no heal, nothing, okay. Power attribute character, normal attack damage plus 20%. The good thing about having boost <coughs> and nothing else is that the cooldown is significantly shorter by like 10 seconds base on a nad character really good but i still really really i'll be real true i really really like 
a multi barrier on this stuff, so that way your other side units won't take damage, and this guy can have full stamina on, uh, full stamina damage boost on it. Soul trait normal attack damage thirty percent for red. That's actually really good, and he has a hollow killer. I feel like hollow killer. I feel like hollow GQ is not hard. Ranged hollow like. Go here, filter, range, hollow, killer. Like, we've gotten quite a lot, right? And you have this Ichigo. Renewed Ichigo's pretty good. Okiora. I guess we don't really have a crazy booster for it, huh? Rangaku, were you a booster? Almost never played with this Rangaku. I know you were not a booster. You're a duty. <laughs> Maybe not duty, but still. <coughs> I'm gonna get a troll. Uh, oh, Jushiro. Oh, if you have Jushiro built up, I feel like he'd low key be uh, like. Maybe not better, but I'd, I'd like him over Shensui, to be honest. All right, and then last but not least, Aizen, Aronkar Killer, melee strong attack damage, devastation. You're the one that got Havoc. Yeah, there you go. Pfft, bruh. And they, well, they do a NAD character, uh, SP character. An SP character with Havoc. That's so funny. Frenzy plus one uh, Berserker. L let's talk about damage, right? Soul trait special move damage 40%. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> That's a soul trait now. Okay. Wow. Uh, wrong quirk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My brain is, is, is like melted right now. Uh, mind, a wrong car killer. Your melee. I'm moving this around too much, I apologize. Special move damage, 40%. Innate skills, increase strong attack damage, 40%. Full stamina, only team party recover 20% stamina. I like seeing this. This is what I wish was on Soy Farm. <clears throat> to be honest, just give her an innate skill with this. And I think that she'd be good. Uh, well, better, much better. Uh, Sprinter plus one, Frenzy plus one. Going into damage, full stamina, only increase strong attack damage, 40%. Frenzy plus one. Damage inflicted at full stamina, 20% innate into... Uh, into the character that's really good because that'll go up to 45 percent team party mind attribute character special move damage plus 30 percent keep in mind this is separate from his soul trait which i'm pretty sure will get calculated in separately so like this is not just 70 percent special move damage this is times 1.3 times 1.4 so it's like an 82% damage increase, and that's not even taking into account the fact that we have Devastation as well. So that's going to be like a 191% boost to your Soul Bomb. Oh, and he has Weakened Defense, and he has Weakened as well. This character is going to be nuts when it comes to his Soul Bomb. I really want to know what his what his kit is, because you have Spiritual Pressure Boost 80%. I, I completely missed that just because like the soul bomb stuff was already crazy enough you're guaranteed to proc your status element spiritual pressure boost there's never been uh, immune to weaken except for like some synkai on stages where they just don't want you to actually win unless you have a certain character which is scummy as shit guard break plus hit hidden enemies damage to weaken enemies 40 percent let's talk about the soul bomb real quick right <coughs> Base damage times, uh, he doesn't have bombardment, so times 1.3. Yeah, okay, times 1.5. I was trying to see if there was anything before or like the increase, because there's sometimes where it's like special move damage if they're afflicted with a status element, so I wanted to make sure that I'm calculating this right. Plus 100. So this is like base damage for a soul bomb. This is calculating in weakened defense and weakening. The 1.3 weakened defense, 1.5 weakening. Uh, so 50% damage boost for those I don't know. Now going into the full stamina only and all that stuff. Status element spiritual pressure boost. You probably will have that at some point when you're popping off. Times 1.4 times 1.3 times 1.6. Times... No, that's not your soul bomb. That's not your soul bomb. Did I do times 1.2? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Times 1.45 for damage inflicted at full stand, 20% plus 45%. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, I found that it's better to have full stamina only 25% and focus when your character is one out of five than it is to have SP and focus. Uh, when you have the second dupe, you want to take off that focus and give full stamina damage boost 25% and SP. So that's my calculation for the 45% here instead. Now keep in mind, obviously you can alter this character, but 4,900 is kind of... That's kind of nuts. Like, well, let me compare it to Yamamoto, because Yamamoto was like known for that. I know that uh, uh, people have overtaken him, mainly like... I don't know, Okiora came close, but he didn't really overtake him. He just had a... He's just a better character overall, but... So 4,900... Times one point three times one point five because a weekend times one point. I'm trying to like <clears throat> fully process all this. Point eight times one point two five. Seven plus one hundred twenty-five. That's a total after the fact times one point seven. Okay, so Yamamoto still soul bombs harder. Okay, I I just wanted to make one hundred percent sure. Let's just get into it now. <clears throat> I'm spending way too much time on this mid-month banner that I'm not even going to summon on, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. The, the, I'll be real with you, when it comes to like making videos and stuff, BBS has been really, really stale to the point where I don't really even care to make gameplay videos, like or at least my own gameplay videos, unless it's a new character. But seeing new characters and stuff, that's... I'm, I'll be real with you, that's pretty much where I get my fun in this game nowadays. I, I kind of wish Caleb would come out with more, more like actual playable content. Not just pull this character or get fucked and then like go watch other people play with this character. I hope that her third strong attack is an 1170 into the uh, into the little circle that people normally have. I will say I do like uh, Retsu's trap. That's a really weird for a strong attack. The delay on it, I don't really like. It. Is that a plant vortex? Do your second strong attack. Let me see that that's a plant vortex. Bruh. So bad. That's actually legit horrible. <laughs> Dude, plant vortexes in 2024, that's actually crazy. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, vacuum explosion, pretty standard. Not a bad strong attack. That is horrible. K-Lab, y'all couldn't have just given her a tracking vortex? Y'all didn't even give her heavy. I like the thirst strong attack. I like that. Okay, so let me pull it up here. Man, when she does her third strong attack, you'll see here, it actually like grabs this guy over here in the far back right. Can you even see my mouse? Maybe? It's like right above me. Right there. Yeah, so like I like that it hit not only him, but it hits this guy over here on literally the top right of the entire screen. That's a that's a good AOE. They just aimed it wrong. That's a cool soul bomb. Nothing crazy, nothing too flashy, but flashy enough. I really do like Soifon's ultimates and stuff. Nah, we kind of talked about him enough. 
Oh my god, he looks cool. Sorry. Bro. Are you serious? In my brain, I'm like, wait a second. He got a barrier? No, it's Jushiro ba it's Jushiro's barrier. I'm like, that is so cool. What's going on? There's no way you showcase him in super hard mode. Dude is flash stepping so much, bro. Yeah, show the show the first 20 seconds so that you can show them that you're not even clearing with the best characters in the game. Yeah, I don't really like that nine string. Forty percent. One thousand. Okay, uh, I, I like the first strong attack. It's a forty percent mag, but I feel like it pushes the enemy back a little too much. For a nat, for a range nat character, you don't want to push the enemy back too far, unless you're doing some Kaimon. Oh wait, no, never mind. I lied. No, the first strong attack is fucking whole garbage, because you're using that in guild quest, bro. If you launch the enemy, like say say you're using eighth anniversary Ichigo, and this Shun Sui goes first strong attack as you pop off a strong attack, and then the boss gets thrown to the other side of the map and you miss. I hate that strong attack, bro. I'd rather have the eighteen percent. On a uh, like, I, I obviously I'd rather have a lunge or a twenty five hundred length beam on a ranged nad character that's specifically for GQ. I'm, I'm just just bear with me, all right? Specifically for GQ, that is not good. Oh, it's definitely not the special move animation I saw. Thank God. That is cool. I like. He looks so cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Probably the only character that's going to be like super, super meta. Now, keep in mind, the Shun Sui for GQ is probably still going to be really great just because he has all the GQ multipliers and he has booster. But that first strong attack is going to mess with you. I swear to you, it will. Oh, they're just going to start off with your soul bomb. Okay. Oh, dude, the darkness. I like that. That's cool. That's a dark special. I love it. Is that a 24 hour link meme, too? Oh, that's a crazy lunge. This is an end of the month character. In terms of damage. Yeah, that's a 2500 link beam. That's good. I like that. Keep in mind he's premium pool, so be careful. I wouldn't recommend summoning still. I like that lunge. I love the I give no fucks type like lunge. He's like, you're in my way. <clears throat> Standard full screen, there's strong attack. It was Momo all along. So good, bro. You know what I wish? I wish that Bleach had a lot more like subplot, sub story stuff. Like, I feel like Aizen's ascension to captain in the Gote 13, I feel like that would be an interesting story to watch. Like, on anime, in anime, or reading just the manga. Like, Shun Sui's, uh, I, I get that there's, like, backstories, and everyone has their own backstories, and blah blah blah. But I kind of wish that we would have kind of, like, the Ichigo stuff, where it's, like, obviously, like, the story follows Ichigo primarily, but there's stuff that's going on around. 
I would love that for some of these like characters, mainly Aizen. I feel like he'd have a crazy story to tell. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's going to be the mid-month banner. Uh, it looks pretty good. I, I honestly think that this Aizen's where it's at. Uh, Soy Fun and Shunsui are going to be pretty good. It, I feel like if you have Jushiro, you don't really need the Shunsui. Um, yeah, that's just my two cents. Anyways, I'm going to leave it with that. Just grind on catch up. Stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. New. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great day. See y'all. Peace.